que as campanhas eleitorais aqui no Brasil, e o ano que vem nós vamos de novo ter uma eleição majoritária, não acontecesse na internet. O que, que você tem a dizer para o eleitor que fica lá fazendo a sua própria campanha, falando dos seus candidatos? Como participar da vida política sem acabar em fake news, em polarização? Você tem essa resposta? I'm not saying politicians should, should not interact with voters or, you know, um, citizens online at all. What I'm saying is that we should not allow Facebook and other social networks to sell their profiling data for election campaigns. Mm. This is the problem. Mm. Interactions with voters, interactions with citizens, having public talks, that's all fine. But when you pay money to social networks to learn details about your voters so you can micro-target them, mm. it becomes very dangerous. Mm. And this is the thing we should outlaw. And whenever I speak about this, I get comments that, no, no, we, we can't do that. It's impossible or it cannot be done. Well, you know what? It has been done. There's already countries on the planet that do this. For example, election campaigning on social networks is already illegal in Japan. In Finland, como vocês fazem? The campaigning, like in all countries, has moved largely to the internet, and I see problems with that all the time. But Finland is a very strong democracy. We, we, we have very uh, divided, uh, small parties, so we haven't really had the downsides that you typically would have when you have very large two- or three-party countries. Yeah. So I, I think we've done all right over here. Diante de problemas tão graves,